this is honestly pretty pretty sketchy right here Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, we just crossed our first creek, if you want to call it that, a glacial uh, river. Freezing cold. It actually felt pretty good on the legs now. Strapping up the boots, getting ready to hike in. This Today is going to be uh, like an all-day excursion just to get to our spot. But at the end, we're going to have something special. I've been told. And hopefully, with this weather clearing off, we can we can do some hunting for some tar. It's dark in here. Yeah, we're in a jungle, basically. We are in a jungle. Trip up on camera? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these vines. I didn't know we were going in the jungle, Todd. Jungle. Look at that bird. Oh my gosh. The bird. Wow. What was it? Dude, a bird just flew right in. It was like a good luck sign. Landed right next to you? <sighs> I think we ought to get us some of this water right here. Pretty that tasty. crisp and awesome. You ought to drink you some. It's for real. It's good. That is good. Another eight miles. Keep it trucking, buddy. It feels like I'm in a, a make-believe VR or something. Waterfalls all around. We just started. About that, dude. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Look at those cows out there. Just grazing in the middle of the river. Look at that waterfall up there. <laughs> Where are we? Oh my gosh. Okay, first time going on a rope bridge. Holy cow, folks. A little bit wonky. I'm getting a little tired. Yeah. Getting a little tired. Let's not fall down. The hike was like really wondrous and cool for the first couple of hours. And now it's like, whoa, can we just get there? Hopefully we're going to get to our first hut here in about another 
kilometer or so and that'll put us halfway but we've been hiking about three and a half four hours yeah we just arrived at the hut so this is it right here it's a quaint little beauty but we're glad to be here right now this is our halfway stop and we're gonna stay here for a minute get a bite to eat y'all the journey just getting here insane I can't describe the feeling of taking that 50 something pound pack off and then just walking around with no weight on I feel like I can jump 20 feet in the air right now it's, it's strange it just kind of becomes a part of you after a while so the idea is we are going to hunt for some tar uh, this evening but we got to get there first this is taking a little bit longer than expected just hiking in here mainly because me and JT are pretty slow uh, we've never done this and I'm trying to film things as well so <sighs> unimaginable beauty it's amazing JT's had a little problem with the straps coming off yeah, they're making a it's been sort of an issue he's been carrying this bow basically on his shoulder the whole time it's time to make us a little mountain house dumplings y'all chicken and dumplings this is gonna be my first one of the trip, so 14 in. Now we got 13. How far we got on the rest of the hike adventure today? Another two to three hours. Another two or three hours. You picked a good one to start with. Chicken and dumplings is my favorite. Is it? Yes. I figured it'd be a good hearty breakfast instead of, you know, like spaghetti. I think it's funny you didn't bring any breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't? Yeah, you just brought dinner. Oh no, I dropped my salami. JT, good call on uh, telling me to get the long spork. Keep your knuckles out of it. We went over one bridge so far. We've got like six or seven more. My feet, my back are killing me. But the views are stupid. That's good. A little on the water. It's time to get to moving, get to stepping, get to trekking. Get after it, buddy. That's a good one there, man. That's a doozy. That's a doozy, all right. Oh, Harry, let me help you. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Am I gonna fit? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Now you're clear. Clear? All right, dude. Sketchy, dude. Yeah. That's pretty sketchy. Crossing the rope bridge, going over waterfall. Y'all, oh, this is insane. We're talking about feeling sketchy. This is it right here. This is scary. This is one of the scariest things I've done. Makes you feel alive, though. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this right here. We gotta get moving pretty fast. We got more of these bridges to cross, but this is just too cool. Scary, but cool. people on that it get real sketchy yeah it is one person at a time yeah Ugh. holy cow oh that was the new zealand mountain water we all really pick up the pace we thought we were going to get to hunt this evening i don't know if we are because we're going so slow i've been trying to film everything show you guys because it's so amazing but 
after a while you're just like, man, let's just get it in gear and get there. Keep on trucking. Ah, just keep on trucking. How much elevation do you think we've gone up in the last 30 minutes? I don't know. We're, we're up here. We are up here now, y'all. Trekking poles, an absolute fantastic Amazon purchase. My best Amazon ah. purchase ever at this point now. JT told me not to step above that thing before he gets him a, a suckle. If they're, well, almost died there. Um, if Eden still existed, I feel like this would be it. A little bit more fruit hanging would be nice, but y'all, it's undescribable the beauty. All right, y'all. Just having a little bit of honey stinger and some almond butter. I highly recommend that. My buddy JT showed me that. Put a little almond butter on top of that sucker. Give you some fuel. We've been trekking since 8.30 this morning. It is now what time? Um, it is now 4.30. 4.30. In the afternoon. We had high expectations this morning to like get in there because the weather was so good. Start glassing for tar, maybe even get one this evening, but at this point, we're just looking to get to our hut. So we stopped at one little hut, and this other one we've actually reserved, and it's supposedly really nice. Like it costs the government a million dollars to build this hut, 15 bucks to reserve it. Yeah, it sleeps Is that 30 right? people. It sleeps how many? 30. 30 people. So we don't know who's gonna be there. When we get up there, I'm gonna take these boots off. I'm gonna just probably get butt naked and there's supposedly like a, a warm, hot pool or something there. And uh, if that's true, hopefully Todd's not just making this up. So like it gives you hope as you're hiking. It's like, yeah, just a hundred more yards. There's a nice pool. Like what do they call those? Uh, hot spring. Uh, no, but they call it like a, not an illusion, an oasis. oasis yeah. Anyways, y'all, we gotta get to moving and grooving if we're gonna get there by dark. Uh, I've run a half marathon before um this is definitely harder like 50 something pounds i think it was 53 pounds i weighed on my back and it's around 10 miles but it's going through this nasty you gotta watch everywhere you step this last little stretch here in the last hour has been okay but there's parts where literally if you mess up you're falling down a thousand feet and you're gonna hurt yourself you're probably gonna die at that point a thousand feet will hurt you anyways i love you guys Thanks for staying tuned. We're gonna get there tonight. It's gonna be good. This is the last, the last bridge, the last stretch. I'm, I, my legs are about going to failure. Like I'm having trouble even getting them, getting them up and going. This is this bridge is long. Getting in this bridge is gonna suck. All right, here we go. It's it's really not fun at this point. It's more of it's like, let's just get through. Let's just get freaking through. A couple of hundred foot drop. Wait till we get over these rocks. I would, I would get out and film. I can't even hold my arm out. That's how, that's how tired I am. This is not a place you want to be tired. I'm talking myself through this right now because I'm looking down. Oh, not exactly a place that you want to mess up. You want to talk about the most epic thing that I've ever seen? This is it right here, y'all. It's time for my buddy to cross. We just crossed this. That was absurd. You like, afraid of no heights? <laughs> what would you think about that? Dude, I think this one was worse than the <laughs> Hell yeah it was! Okay. Three quarters of the day.
y'all, it's getting dark. You look up the trail, it's it's just dark. Almost time to put on the headlamps. All we have is sky. We're just hoping to make it to camp before it's totally pitch dark. How close do you think we are, buddy? We're, the, we're close. Okay. We're close. We're on the home stretch. Let's push on. We're here. Two Almost. Minutes. Dude. Yeah. That was a long day. We made it. We're high. We're high up here. It's basically dark. Oh, somebody's in there. Taking their shoes off. So we have no idea who's in there right now. But these, that bag is coming off. Holy cow. Thank you, Lord, for trekking poles. I know it's really dark and y'all can't see too well. Oh, my back. This is home for tonight, y'all. Hopefully we can get in. Hopefully they haven't locked it or anything. But if y'all don't hit the like button, you just, you need to be in a mental hospital. This is the hardest thing I've ever done physically. You know, I don't know how many calories I burned today, but it was an insane amount. It was like nine hours of hiking. We're finally up here in the mountains. So we're gonna have to start our hunt tomorrow. I've heard there's a hot, a hot pool, like a hot spring around here. We're gonna go try to find it. But I'm gonna sign y'all off right here, right now. The biggest adventure of my life. I told y'all it was gonna be crazy, and it is. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Wish us luck, good the night. We're gonna rest up and we'll see y'all early in the morning. Oh, my legs aren't working right. Let's do it again on the way out.